Hello, my name is Ian Bishop, and I'm here to tell you who I have chosen in my GoDaddy 11. And I'm going to start right at the top with the opening batsman, and I've gone for a pair of openers from the same country. The Careers straddled each other, Sachin Tendulkar, who has been a high volume scorer in one day internationals across his career. I don't think I can look past him. And one of the guys who will be one of the modern greats, Rohit Sharma, uh, a little bit younger than Tendulkar, one has to say, but uh, another Mambican who I think will forge a really good partnership with Sachin. At three, my own former captain, Sir Vivian Richards. I think he was way ahead of his time when you look at his strike rate, uh, his volume of scoring in an era when it was ill-conceived to do that, he would fit in to today's modern pyrotechnics quite seamlessly. And of course, Virat Kohli. I cannot look past him either. The, the, the way that he wins games, his records of scoring hundreds in chases, He's already, for me, a modern great of batting in 50-over cricket. My next guy is uh, what I would call a 360 player, A.B. de Villiers of South Africa, retired from the international game now. I don't know that there are too many players around who have played the large sample size that A.B. has done, averaging 50 at the rate that he does it. I don't know that there can be any debate about his position. At number six, I want to finish it. Someone who is able to, to bat with the lower order, to bat those final overs and, and score quickly and efficiently, destroy bowling attacks in the death, Lance Klusner, the former South African all-rounder. Following him, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, wicket keeper, averaging 50, great finisher, who I think if Klusner and Dhoni were batting at the end of a game, it would be a mouth-watering prospect. My spinner. Saklin Mushtaq of Pakistan. I think that Saklin's ratio of wickets per game, while others may have played more games and gotten more wickets, he was one of those early bowlers who was able to, to nip the ball either way off the pitch, bowl the great length, fantastic economy and average, so I've gone for Saklin. And to follow the big guys, Wazim Akram, former Pakistan captain, a countryman of Saklin, uh, left arm, quick, swinging the ball when it's new, reverse swing at the end, outstanding or wrong there as well. His batting would lend something to this team. And then I'm going for my twin towers. Joel Garner from one end, his sample size of games isn't as big as some, but I think in any era Joel played, he would have been economical and destructive at the same time. And then Glenn McGrath of Australia, another tall gentleman who had excellent control, could bowl in different phases of the game. So there we have it, my all-time one-day international 11. I know that many of you will have different players and we can debate that for time to come over our lifetime.